Welcome to the Top 10 Camp Prep Tips, Part 2. What's that? You haven't listened to Part 1? Come on, go back and watch. All right, now, for those of you who have watched Part 1, let's get going with tip number six. Discuss homesickness. Yes, really. I've done a lot of research on children's adjustment to separation from home, and one of the surprising findings is the beneficial effects of parents sitting down and having conversations with their son or daughter prior to opening day. A lot of times parents are nervous about using the word homesickness or talking about homesickness, but you know what? If there's something about home that you miss, that means there's something about home that you love, and that's a wonderful thing. 95% of boys and girls who are spending time away from home miss something about home. What you need to do prior to opening day is talk with your son or daughter about the best ways to cope with homesickness. Look, the photo you're looking at right now is how most kids feel on most days at most camps. They're having a great time doing activities, hanging out with their peers, hanging out with their counselors. But sure, there are some days where it's a little bit tougher to be away from home. And it's on those days when you need to know what are the different things you can think or do to help make things better. Well, the good news is I have the perfect resource for you. It's called the Summer Camp Handbook. It was co-authored with Dr. John Malinowski, one of my really good camp friends. And in the book, we talk about how to find the right camp that matches your son or daughter's interests, abilities, and developmental level. We give you great advice on how to prevent homesickness through some really healthy conversations prior to opening day. We tell you how to pack like a pro. You know how to shop for the things on the camp list list, but do you know how to get it into the duffel bag or trunk in a way that makes it accessible? And finally, we talk about how to soothe parental anxiety because, to tell you the truth, it's normal for you to feel a little bit nervous about the upcoming separation. Now, you can visit summercamphandbook.com to get a copy of the book, and the best thing is it's completely free. This is an online resource that's chapterized and easy to search. We are constantly updating it with new information. It is the single best online resource for camp parents. Summercamphandbook.com. Check it out. Now, if you'd like to spend just a little bit of money for $9.95, you can also purchase a DVD CD set, which I host, produced by the American Camp Association. It's the one homesickness prevention tool that research has shown to work. In fact, if you take a look at this graph, you see that the boys and girls who used the DVD are 50% less homesick than the ones who got the standard registration packet. So this is a really inexpensive way to lower the intensity of homesickness simply by watching a 23-minute DVD. Now, the set also comes with an audio CD that moms and dads can listen to in the car after opening day drop-off. Visit campspirit.com and click on the image of the DVD CD set if you're interested in procuring a copy. All right, tip number seven, use a wall calendar. In order for kids to prepare for this experience, they need to know when it's coming up. And to tell you the truth, a lot of kids lose track of time. Quite frankly, a few parents lose track of time, too, so it's good to get an inexpensive wall calendar that you've drawn yourself or purchased for not very much money and start mar marking off the days between now and opening day. That way, there's good psychological preparation for that opening day when so much is going to be going on, lots of chaos, lots of fun times, but knowing when it's coming up is a great psychological prep tool. Number eight. Plan your correspondence. Now, here I'm really speaking to parents of resident campers. When you go to overnight camp, the way that you keep in touch with your family is through letter writing and postcards, not through cell phones. So please plan ahead. Make sure your son or daughter is headed off to camp with a zipped freezer bag that's chock full of pre-stamped, pre-addressed envelopes, stationery, and pencils. If you want to get any correspondence back from your son or daughter at camp, you have to make it really easy for them to write to you. Number nine, no pickup deals. Hey, look, when you're at camp and you're ready to leave, it's normal for your son or daughter to say, wait, wait, don't go. What if I feel homesick? The correct answer to this question is, you know what? You've spent some practice time away from home. You know exactly what to do when you feel those normal feelings of missing home. But mom and dad, please don't ever say, 
if you feel homesick, I'll come and get you. You know what? That kind of pickup deal, if you feel homesick, I'll come and get you, leaves you with two crummy options. Crummy option number one, you fulfill your promise when your son or daughter writes you that homesick letter and says, hey, I'm missing home, which I've told you over and over again is a normal feeling. If you pick them up at camp, if you fulfill that promise, you've robbed them of a really wonderful developmental experience. Crummy option number two is you say, you know what? I'm going to go back on my promise. I didn't mean what I said, in which case you really erode a lot of trust that you've worked for years to create. So don't make any pickup deals. Express confidence and optimism. If your son or daughter asks you, what if I feel homesick, you say, you probably will feel that way a little bit, but you know what to do, and camp is going to be a wonderful experience. If you really need some extra help, I'm sure your cabin leader or camp counselor will be there to help coach you through things. And number 10, enjoy yourself. This is a perfect time to take a well-deserved break from full-time parenthood. Whether it's day camp or resident camp, having your son or daughter away means it changes the dynamic in the house. If there are some siblings at home, you get to spend some extra special time with them. If there's nobody left in the house except maybe your partner or spouse or you get to spend some time alone, use that time wisely. Enjoy yourself. Your son or daughter is going to be having a great time at camp, just like the kids in this picture, even when it's raining. Okay, that wraps up top 10 camp prep tips for this summer. I want to invite you to visit three cool websites to learn more. SummerCampHandbook.com, where you can read a full text version of the Summer Camp Handbook, as well as a lot of other relevant articles written for new camper families. Camp Spirit, through which you can purchase the DVD CD set produced by the American Camp Association that lowers the intensity of first year campers homesickness by an average of 50% and Everything Summer Camp. Now, Everything Summer Camp is your best single source for everything you need for summer camp. Trunks and accessories, laundry and name labels, sleeping bags, bedding and bunk materials, skin care, camp gear, clothing, rain gear, swimsuits, stationery, toiletries and towels, sports gear, footwear, backpacks, games and books, gifts, cards, Anything you'll need for camp this summer, you can find on everythingsummercamp.com. When you go to make a purchase, be sure to enter the coupon code TOP10TIPS to receive 10% off your order. I'm Dr. Chris Thurber, thanking you for watching and wishing you a great camp season.